other countries for quasi enemies that aren't nation states, this is our criteria. And then we say drones are indiscriminate. We say um, drones are dehumanizing both to the, will impact it to the flyer, the driver, and to the dead people. Um, what else about drones that links there? What else is bad about drones? Yes. So civilian casualties are the ultimate impact here. What else is bad about drones? I mean, no. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Uh, it, this is terrible for image. When you violate that from drones, it um, it radicalizes. So what what's the the in a war, we're basically saying it increases terrorism. We're going to say there are more terrorists now than there were at 9-11 in the Middle East, despite 12 years of warfare. And drones are a big cause of that, Predator B. Yes? Not yet. Okay. Let's stop right here. What I want you to see, first of all, is the power of this argument. Where's the power of the argument? Where's the oomph? There. Because, oh my goodness, I am pro-life. I believe in life. You're telling me life is on the line. There's nothing more important than life. And your policy does seem to impact and increase life. Whew. What does the negative team have to do? <laughs> this is not an option. But these guys are. So we are going to say, now, we agree. Here are three counter criteria to life. Uh, preventive war. Technology in war. Um, what else? Overpopulation? No. <laughs> Basically, security. Uh, preventive security is right here. Oh, I know. Keeping the war in the Middle East. Did you have something value? What do you think about trying to make a revolutionary actor argument saying that as a government you want to see that you have a duty to your own people first and so you can end up devaluing the rest of the life by saying your citizens should be that way? I think that is an incredibly valuable argument that does not illustrate my point at this time. I would like to talk about that. but. Thank you. Our soldiers' duty to our soldiers. Okay. Perfect. So now, how do we defeat the affirmative team? We say we agree. Life is the most important thing. Glad we are all on the same page about that. What I want to show you is how drones actually support their own value better. We're going to look at five counter criteria and the advantages associated with each. And you know what? I'm not even going to address one point of their case because these outweigh that level. Now we're back to outweighing. But we're not outweighing at the life level. See? So. This is the style of argument that you can have if you are a strategic thinker. Because you're not intimidated by, oh my goodness, they're for life. I'm against life. <laughs> Instead, you're thinking, how can I take that and use it to my advantage on my side? And how can I link different arguments to it? Or maybe, what if this isn't really related to life? What does seeing eye to eye in life and death choices have anything to do with preservation of life? That's all about, I don't know. <laughs> That's not about that, though. <laughs> you can delink it from life. There are any number of arguments you can make if you're thinking this way. Yes?
So now he's saying from a solvency perspective, you don't solve that. You don't solve this. You don't solve this. You don't solve that. Now, at this point, is he disagreeing with this, this, or that? No. He's running solvency on the impacts themselves. Part of the debate. That's, that's, oh, thank you. I knew there was a four. <laughs> Direct refutation. <laughs> Which is what we all think of debate as. Yes. Yes, we did. So basically, no. Well, our 1 in C strategy is pretty good. <laughs> because our 1 in C strategy kills them at every level. Yes, it's good. It's a good strategy. OK, that's all. This is, this is all that I wanted to share with you, is that when you're debating, first of all, this is why you're always doing value debate. There are always hidden assumptions. You don't have to say it or not. It generally behooves you to do so because that helps your side, because you're concrete, and you're the ones who said the big idea first. Um, this is always going on. Every contention has to link to some cohesive theory. And by the way, all of this, we didn't even talk about this. This is assumed. All of this is supposed to link to the resolution, because if it doesn't, it's purposeless. It doesn't have access in the round. <laughs> so all of these things apply to that, too. You know what? Accountability has nothing to do with this resolution. This resolution is about the essence of civil rights. Civil rights aren't determined by what makes something beneficial or not from the accountability perspective. While true, a civil right is a factual, definitional type statement. And my opponent, by saying accountability is good or bad, in no way addresses the substance of the resolution. So we delink accountability from the resolution. Valid argument. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, OK, I have one more observation to make that I forgot about. Madeline, this applies to what we were doing at Nat's prep camp, impacting through to the resolution. This is how I think when I'm impacting an argument. Most people think impact means the big bad thing about an argument. The verbiage of impact contains all elements that get you back to here. Because, what was my solvency argument again? Because fighter jets drop napalm bombs and what are those, cluster munitions, Terrorists are still motivated and radicalized, which means eye-to-eye -eye death, uh, life and death choices, and even life itself are not something that you can give access to the uh, other team for. Since life is the reason they gave you to vote for the resolution, you should vote against the resolution on that point. That's an impact. An impact goes all the way through to the resolution, or else and this is the cool reason that you force yourself to do this habitually. This is not something you write down. This is something, if you're unable to do that at any given moment, do you know what it says? It says you're lost in the flow. You don't know why the argument you're making is important. If you are unable to impact drones don't dehumanize to them losing the round, that's the crass way to say it, to the resolution not having been supported, you shouldn't be making the argument. And of course, you should only be wa making winning arguments. It's kind of obvious. <laughs> or else you're wasting your time. So uh, that's something that I think the visualization helps you do, too, is at whatever level you're, you're arguing impacts, the verbiage you use impacts from there to the substance, to the case, to the round. Really important concept. You'll get to practice that. That'll be something that the coaches will stop and start you many times during some of the, the debate critiques and say, no, you didn't really impact far enough. That's what they mean. They're referring to this. OK, any questions about Z-bubbles?
I don't think so unless you were going out of the substance of the debate back to the format and you were saying because they did that you should end the debate round right now they're so offensive <laughs> you'd have to go uh, yeah or dock their speaker points those mean people so no I don't think there's an impact that goes further other questions and early have free time goodbye